When is it gonna go away? I don't know. <laughs> let's get ready for bed and let's catch up because it has been a very long time, okay? If you're new here, welcome. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and also on LTK. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because we do a lot of things. One of which is talk about the real deal when it comes to our body, our image, being a grown woman, you understand? And a year and a half ago, which is so crazy to say that it's been a year and a half, but a year and a half ago, I had a few procedures done. I had a mastopexy, an abdominoplasty, and 360 liposuction. So mastopexy was a breast lift then I had a tummy tuck. Okay, that's an abdominoplasty. And then 360 lipo that's wrapped around. So there's a playlist where I walked you through all of it, girl. I mean, it got gory, okay? But I walked you through all of it because I wanted to keep it a buck in case it's something that you are interested in doing or you're just interested in in general. Like you, you don't have to actually go and have surgery. I want to document it for moms or for women who just feel like they want to do what I call a tune-up on the body, okay? That playlist is linked below to catch you up to speed. So when it comes to now let's talk about how it's been okay how it's been how it's going what i'm feeling and the whole nine yards now first things first is the belly button if you have ever thought about getting a tummy tuck seen anyway that has had one had a feeling that somebody has had one done unless that person has not said anything you know what the tummy tuck belly button looks like you feel me it looks unnatural okay i won't lie to you however i knew that that was one of those things and there are a lot of things that i was okay with i was okay with taking that risk i was okay with that being the new normal for me because getting the procedures done was more important to me than things like scars and the belly button okay so i will say that in the beginning i was like yo my belly button cannot look crazy please lord god right i thought it looked creepy in the beginning also too after surgery my belly button was very dark and that's because of hyperpigmentation that happens when the skin is scarred so the belly button was literally made brand new so inside of it was a dark hole so it looked really dark and i remember getting hate comments when i first posted a picture of me in a swimsuit suit on IG and I don't give a damn. It just was what it was for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a new belly button and I know I looked good. I looked good then and I look even better now. You feel what I'm saying? Now my belly button has lightened up. You know me, I do lots of skincare. So I'm always lightening dark spots, smoothing out rough areas of my skin, that type of thing. So whenever I use a product that lightens up dark spots on my face or my body, best believe I also put it in my belly button. Okay. I put it in my belly button. I put it on my scars because yes, they're fading, but you can always do a little something to it. You feel what I'm saying? Is it the end all be all? Do I regret having the surgery? Absolutely not. If I had to, would I do it all over again? Absolutely I would, okay? I want to make that very, very clear. I said that in the beginning and I will continue to say that because it has been one of the best decisions I've made for myself. I would not change it for the world, okay? I do lighten up the belly button and it has gotten lighter. I don't know if it's a mix of what I've been doing and then also time, but in the very, very beginning, yeah, it was really dark, like, hello. And it has gotten lighter. Same with my scars in general. They've faded into my skin. I'm a dark brown skin girl, so my scars are not as pronounced as they would be if perhaps I were lighter. So that is something to take into consideration. So if you're a lighter toned woman and you scar dark, what I mean by that is if you're lighter toned, like my palm maybe, and when you scar, your scars look like the lines in my hand, well, that might to you be very sh stark. It might be very shocking for you if you have a line across your hip that looks the color of this. I was expecting for my scars to be dark and I'm fine with it. So like I said, they have lightened up. You may or may not have seen my scars in my bikini pictures or videos and I show it, I don't mind. I showed it before on TikTok as well follow me there and it just it just is what it is i do have scars around the areola and then down i have the anchor scar you feel me i still have some keloids they aren't as bad as they used to be i used to get the f5u is that how you pronounce it i should be getting ready for bed i can't stand this uh, i used to get the f5u injections to help to lessen the hypertrophy something the raisedness of the the scars girl the scar okay because it was up you feel me so i used to get the steroid injections to help it go down and it did help a little but then i stopped the steroid injections and thankfully they've just gone down on their own my understanding is that they could raise up again they could reform or whatever they call it and i will just keep monitoring it i don't know what to expect and that's one of the things that i did not expect keloids i've never keloided i had a c-section i get that that's a totally different surgery However, that is a major surgery and I did not keloid, so I was shocked. I keloided on my uh, lipo, in, uh, I call them bullet holes because they're like whole hole. I keloided on my lipo area, my lipo holes. 
the one in the middle of the bag, I feel it everywhere, okay? But it hasn't remained everywhere, meaning what's left over is not everywhere, okay? So a lot of areas have flattened and some areas still have a little bit. You might notice too, when I wear a low cut something that there's a line here, that's a keloid. Or in the middle, they used to be, yeah, they've gone down. This side used to really be keloided, like really, really obviously, and it's not as much anymore. You will see on the side, oh, this one's not too bad. When I wear something low cut or, you know, that's a side cut, you'll see it. Like you see a little bit right here. And as mentioned, I love my body. I would do it all over again. I don't care about these keloids. Girl, cause I look good and I feel even better. I still get wicked itchy. <laughs> Sometimes more than other times, but am I getting itchy? Yes, I am. It used to be horrific. If if my itchy level initially was when I was healing, if that itchy, cause you know, the numbness had to go down. If my itchy level at that time was, let's say a 12 out of 10, <laughs> it was bad. Then now it's like a six, but see, it varies. You feel me? It's so irritating. It is so irritating, okay? There are a lot of times where I will literally just go like this because rather than scratch it, I'm just trying to push it around. Like I'm trying to push my skin and just hope that that'll just literally, I just be going like this. And if I'm in public, I'll be all like, <laughs> I just gotta do something. It be taking me out. I'm not gonna lie to you. And sometimes the one underneath be taking me out. My hips, not so much, cause I'm still numb. I'm still numb. I'm still numb. Oh my God, okay. This is so much to talk about. This is so much to talk about. Okay, let's stick to the itchiness. Yes, yeah, so the itchiness is still here, okay? When is it gonna go away? I don't know. <laughs> I would love to know. You know, I no longer go to the doctor appointments cause there is no longer a need. I'm a year and a half past. I mean, I haven't had appointments since I think my one year or close to my one year was my last appointment and I've been progressing so well barring the keloids that I've just been good, you know? All right, I floss, let's brush. I love using the Colgate Optic White Advanced Toothpaste because it literally helps to keep my teeth white even though I drink coffee or tea every single day. This stuff works, okay? Get you an electric toothbrush. Cleans way better than your manual toothbrush. If you have a smartphone, you need an electric toothbrush. Like, I don't understand, right? No, we're not using landline phones. A manual toothbrush is like using a landline phone, please. Stop. Like I was saying, your girl is still numb, okay? Mouthwash, smart mouth, I love it. Double chamber and it prevents bad breath for 24 hours, honey. So good. I've gotten a few DMs, which I appreciate because again, my goal is to just be honest about the whole procedure in case you are interested in doing it. And I've been asked if I have been experiencing nipple sensitivity, have my nipples or any part of my nipples gone numb? Has the sensitivity come back? Let's talk about it. I wasn't so aware of that before I got it done, but then I inquired about it and I was told that there's a possibility that it can come back, meaning the sensitivity in the nipples areola area could come back and it could be 100% and we don't know what kind of percent. You feel what I'm saying? So again, that's one of those things. This is the Elf Glow Viber Lip Oil. That's one of those things that I became aware of before getting the procedure done, the mastopexy. And I was like, dang, yo, what's that going to mean? You feel what I'm saying? Because that's important. <laughs> But when I thought about it some more, I'm like, I'm gonna just trust and believe that the majority of the sensation will come back. Cause when they're cutting you up, I, I, I'm not talking in doctor terms. When they're cutting you up, girl, slicing you up and down, they're cutting the nerve endings and then they're gonna put things back together again. So are the nerve endings going to reform again? Well, that's the question. So that's where you then don't have this, the sensitivity cause those nerve endings did not connect. Okay, that's my layman terms explanation for it. One of my nipple areas was not very sensitive, okay? And that one has come back, I would say like 60%. You know what I'm saying? And then one of them is like 90%. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe 85, you know? <laughs> I'm just keeping it in a honey, you feel me? That's something to, to think about, you know? I, that's not to say that everyone is going to have that same experience. You might not have any issue. You might not get any sensitivity back. You feel what I'm saying? I followed a creator, I still follow her, and she had gotten a breast, not lift, she got breast implants. But did she ever get a lift? I don't know. I, I thought it was breast implants. And she said that she ain't got none, zero. Now, this was a year or so ago. Has it come back? I don't know. I never asked her. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's definitely a possibility. So it's something to, to, to keep in mind. And then in my abdomen, oddly enough, oddly enough, there's some areas that are still numb. I'm like, yo, that's crazy, son. My hips are still numb in some areas. It is the craziest feeling ever because I'll go to scratch because I feel itchiness and I can't feel myself relieving myself of the itch because I cannot feel what I'm scratching. It's been a year and a half 
that's not gonna go away and that's crazy to me okay i've gotten used to it but i want to just be come keep an eye i'm touching myself to see where else is numb if i were to just give it a whole nutshell besides the hips right if i were to give a percentage as far as numbness on the tummy tuck incision i would say the feeling is like 90 percent okay of sensation that i can feel so that's a good thing around my stomach like on the sides of my belly button feeling i would say is like 80 percent some areas are zero though i won't lie some areas are zero okay that's what it is now i will say that my abdomen feels tight now you see working out you see me working out you see a girl working out here in houston on vacation in st lucia on vacation in new york on vacation wherever i mean your girl is putting in work okay that i've not skimped on i do not plan on skipping on so surgery or not i was always working out i was always skipping my abs though i won't lie it was so hard and annoying but i won't lie having my core actually put together makes doing core exercises so much easier is it not painful absolutely not it's very painful like not painful meaning it hurts because I had surgery but painful meaning this is a challenge okay so it's painful in that way yes because it's a challenge your core yo the muscles it be feeling like oh you feel me but what I love is that because the fat is moved the the subcutaneous fat not the visceral fat around the organs the subcutaneous right is the one on top right under the skin I think that's the right, the right term. That fat is gone, okay? So you can see my abs a lot easier and girl, you know I've been taking advantage of it, you feel me? I've been taking advantage of it because I love the way I look and the way I feel. My stomach feels tight. So I wanna say that it's the surgery, tightening up the, the muscles in between like a corset, in addition to doing ab workouts that just make my stomach, my, my abs, feel tight. Like baseline is just tight. I don't know what else to say. I'm not talking about the incision. I'm not talking about the C or the smile incision. I'm talking about right here just right here on my abs feel tight like if i just go and stretch like this it just feels tight i don't know i don't know if you've had tummy tuck done in lipo 360 and you don't do core workouts let me know if your core just feels tight I'm curious. It could be a me thing. It could be because I do ab workouts. I don't know. And I will be honest with you. My doctor did say that I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to do a lot of ab workouts. Like she wouldn't advise crunches. I think she said planks were okay. I can't remember. But I remember looking at her like, uh, what? What do you mean? I'm, let me start. Let me take my makeup. You know, we'll be here all night. I remember looking at her thinking, what do you mean I can't do core workouts? Like I want to have abs. And I didn't want the etching because they can etch you. Okay, they can lipo you or do something in a way where you look like you have abs and they think they can intensify it. They can do different levels. I don't know. You got to ask your doctor if you want that. But I just knew, oh, hell no. I didn't want to be out of surgery, rest of my body, not looking like I work out. And then all of a sudden I have abs. No, I wanted it all to be one. And as you can see from my shoulders and my chest, you're gripping in the gym. Okay, so the abs and my traps and my shoulders match. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want no fake abs because they are fake. Like, let's keep it a book. I wanted it to be obvious that when I lift my arm, I've been working out and then, okay, she got abs. Oh, okay, I see her thighs, you feel me? It just all makes the picture come together. You feel what I'm saying? If you see my workouts on social media, then you know I do all kind of workouts, okay? I be doing planks, I be doing the crunches, I be doing the bicycles, I be doing whatever Sydney Cummins has me doing, all right? That's what I do, okay? You should follow your doctor's orders or do whatever your body feels comfortable doing. And when I do those workouts, I feel comfortable. I don't feel like I'm about to break something, rip something, I, I go with my body. This is a long Home double action eye makeup remover. I took out my contacts so I can't even see you. <laughs> I can see the camera, but I can't see you. You know, what I'm I, well, either way, with contacts or glasses, I still can't see you, but you, you get what I'm talking about. You get what I mean, okay? I'm gonna take up this eye makeup, okay? Now, if you recall from other updates or just me discussing it on the vlogs, the upper part of my abdomen would swell. And that was because I was told that that area could not be lipoed vigorously because it's not about the nerve endings and then the blood supply. And if you do it too much, it could be doing something. You feel me? That, again, this is just my broke down way of explaining it. I'm not a doctor. And I was like, dang, okay. But of course, I would always notice that when I swelled in my abdomen, it was up at the top. The bottom, barely ever swelled since mm, I don't know the first few months and even now if I swell it's just at the top and crazy enough whenever I wear shorts and uh let's say a sports bra it's the top that's exposed you know like if you wear high-waisted gym shorts and then a sports bra what's open what's left over is this area right here and that happens to be the area that is always swelling okay so it used to swell a lot and I knew that 
in order for that to go down, I'd have to lose weight because hello. I think she lipoed it, but just not vigorously. So not a lot. So it's the fact that could not be lipoed. And then in general, in general, we tend to think that with lipo, we're going to have a washboard abs. We're going to have a washboard stomach. And that's not the case because we have subcutaneous fat and then we have visceral fat. The visceral fat is around your organs. That's underneath the muscle. Ain't nobody lipoing that. No one's going to be sticking a, is it called a cannula? Ain't nobody going to be sticking that stick next to your, your gut. But you feel what I'm saying? And what's around here? I don't even know. That ain't that ain't gonna happen. You feel what I'm saying? What's what's under there? Your gallbladder, girl, whatever, your spleen, whatever's over there, they're not gonna be liable in that area. So in order for this one to be completely flat, I learned that you gotta lose weight. You feel me? You gotta lose weight because that is just not gonna be taken care of with lipo. And we'll talk more about that in a sec. We got all that off. I used the tear tear foundation today and my skin looks so good. This is crazy. After wiping off all of my eyes, my like, okay, great. I don't have any glasses on, but I think my face still looks good. <laughs> So when it comes to weight loss, I'm sure you've realized that over the past several months, I've lost a lot of weight, right? I've been on keto for years. I work out as you can see, but I'm 38 years old, okay? Something had to give. And I was like, wait a second. Cause if you also paid attention, I gained weight from the surgery. Like a year after the surgery, I had gained weight. Now the thing about it, when I say weight, I mean inches because I don't weigh myself often. And whenever I do, I'm usually around the same area, but my body just looks different, okay? So my body was just looking fuller. Thicker, and I don't want that. I want to see the work that I'm putting in the gym. I want to see my ass. I want to see my shoulders. I want to see my thigh muscles, all of that. So I was just like, nah, man, something got to get. And I have been hearing about semaglutide for a while. And I just, I was that person that was like, nah, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this the hard way. I'm going to put in that work. I've been doing keto. I'm going to work out. I can do this. And I was doing this, but it wasn't working. <laughs> Like, yeah, I have some cheat days, but it just wasn't like, come on, you know? Stuff is just different when you get older. When you become a more mature woman, this is the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Bomb. Stuff is just a little different. And I kept hearing about some glutide. I kept seeing people on social posting about it, honey. I kept seeing them looking real good. I said, hold on a second. I got the money. I can afford this. I'm about to do this. And I had already asked about it. Understandably enough, they were like, give it a year because you really don't want to lose a lot of weight after you do this surgery because it can alter the way your results look. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because for instance, my breast lift, right? If I lose 30 pounds, the breast ain't going to look how they're supposed to look. And my breasts have gone down just from losing weight in general. But just imagine, right? If you were bigger than me, have bigger breasts than me, and then you go and lose 15 pounds after your breast lift, your results are going to look different. And that's why you're really supposed to get to your goal weight before you have this type of surgery so that when when you come out and you heal, how you look is, you know, that was how you wanted to look versus you look this one way and then you lost 30 pounds and now you look different. Now, what is, is that different going to be great? You might think it's great or you might not. And once it's done, it's done. You feel me? Now, the good thing is when I went in, I was, I think, 190. I'm not even sure. And she never even said I had to lose weight. I think she understood it. She saw from the examination, you feel what I'm saying, that your girl was just stacked with a lot of muscle. I have a lot of fat too. Your girl's thick. But I just, I'm also a, a, a muscular girl. So underneath all of that fat was some hardcore muscle that was adding to the weight on my body. So she never said you had to lose weight, but I always knew that I wanted to lose weight. Hell, I was on keto for a reason, you feel me? Anyway, I still did the surgery and I love that I had lost a lot of weight after it, but with life and I don't know what, I just had gained some. But even then, even with the surgery, I knew that I still wanted to lose weight. There, w there wasn't a number that I knew that I wanted to lose, but I knew that I wanted to lose because I knew that I just wanted to see more of my muscle. Like I want to be toned and ripped. That's always been a goal of mine. And you might disagree with that, but that's just me, all right? This is my body, my life, and how I want to look. So it got close to a year and I was like, what's up with semaglutide? Because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? And I'm like, how much is it and what we gotta do? So you girl found out about it. And so, I, so I've been on it and I was gonna tell you, I've been documenting all of it, right? I wanted to walk into 38 having lost a lot of Wait. And I was thinking, okay, let me get on this in November and hopefully by December 20th, which is my birthday, I would have lost like a lot of weight, right? Like it, it would have been noticeable. Girl, nothing was happening. So I was in New York and I'm like, uh, <laughs> like, 
I thought, maybe it was a placebo. I thought I could see something, but not really. And I'm thinking, yo, is this thing working or what? Like, what is the problem now? As far as how much it was, it goes based on how much you want to lose and how much you get. So I can't, I don't, I honestly don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. I, I know it was a thousand something for, I don't know if it was a six week, three month. I don't remember to be honest. Okay. So it was really about, again, how much you want to lose, how long you're going to do it. And then you go to your provider and then they can give it to you. And you go from there. I got mine from uh, my surgeon. So I'm like, dang, I don't see anything. So I'm still on it. And I keep on going, I keep on going. I'm documenting in the very beginning, right? And uh, I was like, is this not working for me? And then suddenly people started commenting like, wow, you look different. I remember thinking, really? Like, what are you trying to say? And people just kept pointing out, wow, you look like you've lost a lot of weight. And again, I don't weigh myself, so I couldn't say what the number was, but I will say that I began to notice it around February, March, for sure. So it took several months for me to notice that, oh, this thing is working. So you do add water and then you rub and then it emulsifies. This is what's happening. And then we'll rinse this off. I was like, wait, this thing is working. So I kept refilling. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, let's keep it a buck. You feel me? I'm like, yo, this is working. I'm gonna keep on going. You feel me? Because again, I couldn't say how many pounds I wanted to lose. I just knew that I would know that I was satisfied based on how I looked in the mirror, you know, how much muscle definition I could see because I was still working out. And then of course the clothing, because my clothes started to be mad loose on me. Like I, you've seen me pull this up how many times? I've had this since before moving to Houston and it fit me. Okay, I've had this since I was in college and this thing keeps falling off me because it's big on me. Can you imagine? And this is a size medium. So I was documenting it and then because my progress was so slow and I felt like, is this even working for me? I just stopped documenting because I was like, wait, I might need to just abort mission. Is this a waste of my time? And then it started to show. At the end of this video, I, and there are timestamps below, this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I will actually add as an appendix or just at the end, the vlog style videos of me when I was first starting off on it. I was so scared to inject myself. Yes, I inject myself. I get sent the vial and then and I draw up the amount of product or medicine based on what the provider and I discuss or the provider tells me. And then I inject myself. And this is where the numbness on my stomach is actually a blessing because that is, they're right in the areas where I inject myself. Oh my God. So only once or twice I felt the pinch because I ended up picking a spot that I didn't realize wasn't numb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Granted, the needle isn't that long, but man, like who wants to do them? My heart goes out to people who are sick that have to actually do that on a daily or weekly basis. It's, oh, it's different when you're doing it just, let's be honest, for vanity metrics or just because whatever, but it's a different story if you have to do this to survive. So, you know, blessings, honestly. You'll see clearly from the video that I was a lot heavier than I am now. I don't know the pounds. I can't say one day when I weighed myself because my weight does fluctuate. One day when I weighed myself, I was 176, which was a huge shocker. I have not seen 170 in ages. Last time I had gone to the doctor, I was 184 I think or five or three one of those okay but I don't look like I've just lost what 13 or well, whatever pounds I look like I've lost more than that in my opinion you can tell me what you think that's why I don't go by the number I just go by how I look I have given away a lot of clothing and a lot of things don't fit me look when I do my hauls the target hauls that I've done and just stuff like that when I buy stuff and then I go to put it on a month later it doesn't fit me I used to be an XL and or like an L and now I am a small. The stuff that I bought from Target recently, the, the green skirt and then the, the green top, the spaghetti strap top is a small. Just like everything, a lot of stuff. A grin, I mean, because of the hips, the bottom's gotta be something, but even my size 10 shorts, size 10 pants, not jeans, jeans are different, but pants, size 10s and stuff, those don't fit. I need an eight. It's crazy. When I bought the Janine Naylor stuff, I bought it and I thought I was one size. That's why a lot of that stuff did not fit me because I was still losing weight and I had no idea I was gonna continue or like, I just didn't know, I, I didn't know. <laughs> It's just crazy. The swimsuits that I got from Target that I wore in St. Lucia, big on me. I bought them as size large because I'm so used to buying a large and <laughs> they were big on me. 
How long will I be on it? As long as I feel the need to. I want to trim down body fat. I'll know when I look in the mirror that I'm that I'm satisfied. Because for instance, I need this to go down, thighs, legs, just the whole nine, the back. I just need the whole nine yards to go down more because I want to be more toned. And you can get this from your provider. I put on Vaseline because my skin will get dry after I use the rosacea treatment. When I wake up in the morning, my skin is so dry. So the Vaseline helps to keep it all in and just lock in some moisture, you feel me? Pricing, I gave you an average estimate of maybe 1300 because it depends on how much is in the vial and then how much your provider and you decide to pull out into the syringe to inject because that determines how fast you lose weight. And it also determines how sick you'll feel because if you're using too much, then maybe the provider will have you go down to help lessen the symptoms you're feeling, that type of thing. I don't regret it. I love it. I love how I look. I love how I feel. I'm prioritizing my health. Being on semaglutide has been so great for a lot of reasons. One of which is that in St. Lucia, I was actually able to enjoy the local cuisine without feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be huge when I leave here. All the swelling, all of this. I didn't have those issues. Granted, I wasn't going overboard because I was eating my salads and, you know, drinking my water and so forth. But I was enjoying the local fruit, honey. I was enjoying. I feel full faster and longer which is great. So my appetite is not as humongous. And when I do eat, I'm full longer. It is amazing. It is amazing. This is amazing. Granted, it is expensive because I've been on it since November and it's now July. So it is expensive, but I give God all the glory that I could afford it because I've seen the benefits of it and I'm very happy. I feel lighter. I can work out and not get as tired. I just feel better, man. At 38, I needed a boost and this is the boost that I needed. It was first, it was the procedure, which I know is pricey. Not everyone can do that. And then secondly is are the injections, which I also recognize is pricey. Not everyone can do that, but I got all the glory, like I said, because I've done it and I would do it again and again because it just works. Your face uh, on that glue tie, honey. They ain't all going to say it. You feel me? They ain't all going to say it. And that's their prerogative, right? Everyone has their prerogative. Everyone should do what they want to do. But of course on this channel, I just share because I don't care. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care. And I want to share because it's the plug. And if you can go for it, if you're healthy enough to withstand it, because I understand that there's some health issues that can be of concern. And thankfully my, my blood work has been fine. I don't have any problems, but you know, if everything's in the clear for you, why not? I mean, you know, I don't have to lie about it. I ain't got a lie to kick it. I, that I'm not going to do. Cause it doesn't, it doesn't, like my, like my mom would say jokingly, it doesn't worth it. I guess it, it don't worth it. It ain't worth it. It is what will be the point of me to not tell the truth, you know, but I love it. And I would do it again. So if I didn't answer any question that you still have, then please comment and let me know. And I'll answer it in the comments and or in another vlog. Cause I don't know what order this will go out in, but I will answer it again. If I miss anything. Thanks for watching. All right, so it's happening. Excuse my hair. Uh, it's just one of those days, but I'm starting today. I was expecting to get this in the mail tomorrow, but it's here now. So <laughs> we don't get this started today. So I have to refrigerate this quickly. I don't know. Let me refrigerate it as I speak because I don't know what is what in those bags. Okay, so we have the two different syringes, subcutaneous injections instructions. It's supposed to be wicked easy, so let's see. There are many sites to give subcutaneous shots. Upper arm, back of the arm? No, I'm not doing that. You can do it in the abdomen, right here in the middle. You can do below the waist, just above the hip bone. Okay, from where the body curves at the side to about two inches from the middle of the abdomen. Use the natural line in the middle of the body as a marker. It may be hard to see, but it is there, unless, unless it was covered by surgery. Or I could do the thigh. Oh, Jesus. Dang, is this gonna hurt? Oh my God. Is this gonna, oh. I mean, we're already here. We're obviously already doing this. Oh my goodness. Okay, the lighting is better over here, so I moved. Ah, we can also do, I might just do the thigh. Let me just do the thigh. Cause I, it's just so close to me. I wanna see it well. I'm gonna do my thigh. Uncover the entire leg. Find the area between the knee and the hip, the middle of the thigh, fr from mid front to mid side on the outside part of the thigh is safe. Gently grasp the area to make sure you can pinch one to two. I can't pinch. I can't pinch my thigh meat. Oh, a little bit. Not a lot. It's a little chubby. 
we're gonna do this together. <laughs> I can see my cellulite when I pinch it. Dang, look at all this cellulite. Ooh, you about to go down. You about to go down, down, baby. Oh, see that now, wait, Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and dry them. Open the foil covering the alcohol wipe. Wipe the, this is, this just feels so serious. I know people do this on their own. This feels so serious. I'm excited to lose at least 20 pounds, maybe 20 pounds. I don't know what I look like 20 pounds down. It's been ages. I look forward to losing body fat so that my muscles can show more. I'm gonna do muscular. I don't wanna have all this extra body fat on. I wanna give myself a boost. And then of course, I'm gonna continue my diet and exercising. That's all important, but I've been giving this some thought and I just said, you know what? F it, let's do it. I ain't got time. All right, we're gonna wash our hands, wipe the area clean, take the cover of the needle off, hold, oof. Jesus. If you give the shot at a 45 degree angle, hold the syringe with your writing hand. Place the syringe between your thumb and index. And then you, oh, so it can be at an angle or it can be straight. I'm gonna just do it straight. What? Oh, so you're gonna, we're gonna be sh shooting it through the fat. Look at the, the visual. That visual is helpful because what? Grasp the skin. Once the needle is all the way in, push the plunger down slowly to inject the contents from the needle at the same angle and dispose with the sharps container. Oh, I have to get a sharps container. Oh crap, I don't have that. Okay, the subcutaneous injection is put into the fat layer, the fatty layer of tissue. Oh. You can purchase a sharps container, which is a hard plastic container made for syringes. If you don't, you can use a hard plastic container with a screw on it, such as a clothing softener or a hard plastic detergent bottle. Make sure you can easily put both the syringe and needle into the container. Oh, dang. I don't think I have a detergent bottle laying around. I have one that's almost ready. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna just dump out what's remaining and then use it because I wanna get started today. I wonder how quickly this is gonna show results. Yo, I can't believe we're doing this right now. <laughs> you know, not, not you, me, obviously. Okay, dang, I wonder how long the freaking syringe is. Ooh. Let's do injection number one. All right, we're about to get this thing going, honey. Ooh, Lord. And I will take a before and after picture in a second, I, or a video, video and picture. Well, we can just do still shots. <sighs> These are short needles, which is good. 10 syringes, 31 gauge. Okay, so I do this. I guess I use this pack until it runs out. Oh, they don't give me alcohol. Shoot. Dang. Good thing I keep alcohol wipes. The question is, where are they? I have these. I don't even know where I got them from. I must have just purchased them on Amazon. My hands feel so dry, but of course they had to be dry for this. Okay, so this is 70% alcohol hopefully this is good enough wash your hands dry them open the foil open the foil covering the alcohol wipe okay so <laughs> uh, what's the area okay oh okay so under the butt this so this would be my area i also want to treat my varicose veins we'll get there one thing at a time ladies okay this is a little bit scary Yo, after having the surgery I had, how scary is this? <laughs> Come on, this should be nothing. Lord have mercy. All right. And then I'll go put these in the fridge. It looks like all of this needs to be, right? Or well, just the, oh, just the, there's nothing in here. Okay. So just the semaglutide needs to be in the fridge. Understood. All right. Yo, this looks like nothing is even in here. What? This, mind you, this first dose was $450. Four fifty. What? Okay. All right. Let's get the, let's get the dosage. Carefully read the prescription instructions. So my prescription says to inject 0.25, which is twenty five units every seven days. So so we're gonna go right here. Twenty five units every seven days. Understood. Oh, I took off the wrong part of the tap. Oh my god. Oh crap. Wait. What did I do? Oh my gosh. How do you get this off? Oh heck no. How do you get this off? Oh, do I st Yo. Am I supposed to stab the syringe? I, I, I gotta call the assistant at Dr. Sato's office because I don't understand how to take this off. Can you call me assistant? This is Hi, is Adrian available? This is Minna. Oh, they're not available. I'm so, yo, let me look on YouTube. 
I don't have time to wait for this and I want to do it today and get over with. Let me see what they're saying on YouTube. How to do semaglutide injection. Turn the bottle upside down. Oh. Hold the bottle in your hand. See? And support the needle so it does not bend. Honey, that y'all got me over here like a damn registered nurse. Okay. Honey, Prisma Health is getting us together. Praise Prisma Health. No, oh, well, no, praise Jehovah. What? I cannot. Wow. Okay. The nurse just showed us. They don't even need to come back. Praise God. Okay. So this is the part that was confusing me. This came off, but this is supposed to stay. You clean it and then you stick the needle inside. Come on now. Okay. So she cleaned the top with an alcohol wipe. So let's do that. I have a few alcohol wipes so because I already touched it. So let's clean that. She did. Gosh, between my surgery and this, I feel like a freaking registered nurse right now. <laughs> okay, oh, so she took. Up. Hold on, hold on. Ah, tobo, 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 tobo is too much. It's too much. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my hands again before I actually do the injection. Just FYI, I don't get too concerned about that. I'm gonna put it all and then put it down and then wash my hands and do it. Pull back the okay, it's a little tiny. And draw air into the Looking at it just kills me. Okay, draw air into the syringe equal to the amount of the medicine, which for me is, wait, <laughs> wait, why is it doing this? Oh, <laughs> yo, this stuff is annoying. Why is it doing this? <laughs> this thing keeps on coming. Oh, <laughs> I'm forced to take this off. Oh my God. I clearly am having a hard time right now. Okay, so pull it back to 25 here we go 25 and what did she say so you push the needle into that little gray circle Ooh. push the air in Ooh. and then she tipped it over oh my god this is some expensive liquid you know how you be in the hospital when you be doing this I feel like a freaking nurse right now. Okay, and then, it's like the first time I drained my freaking drains from the surgery. Ooh, hold on, there's, it's red? Okay, there's air, oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, so you pull it back to 25, 25, oh. Can you see that? I am so, my face is so scrunched up right now. Okay, 25, oh, here we go. Oh my God, I gotta change. Okay, Whew. well, we might as well get the before and after now. I don't have on a sports bra. I just threw this top on and I'm holding in my abs, obviously. Who lets them go? Not me. And I still have swelling. I'm still healing. I, I'm gonna be fully healed at 12 months, but I wanna get this body fat down because why carry it around if I don't have to? Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, where am I? Okay, let's see what the video is saying. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands again. Hey. Hey, to a book. Oh, Jesus. Okay, she said, hey. Slow down. Ah, I got some. Hey. <laughs> One, two, but. Okay, I'm gonna do it right here. <laughs> Woo, girl. What are we doing in our lives? Okay, we get the idea. She said that people who put it in their stomach get faster results than people who do it in their thigh or their arm. So she switches sides. Lord, yo, I'm 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 delirious because I'm a little bit I don't know what to expect right now. That's why. Hey, this part mm -mm, it ain't as numb as I thought. Hell, she said below the panty line. Where the hell is the panty line? I don't wear panties. There's no panty line. Hold on. Oh, bless the name of the bless the name of Jesus. Okay, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of okay. I can I can barely feel it. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, can I do this? Yo, oh my God. Oh, people have to do this themselves for IVF or whatever else. This is serious. Okay. I had to push back for a second. Okay, I can do this. I can do this, right? I can do this. I've done a lot of things. I've done a lot of things. I've done them well. I can do this, right? Okay. I can do this. I'm going to do this. I have done this. Oh, I'd rather somebody else do this. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, oh. Yo, injecting yourself is crazy. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, wow. And I'm fine at the doctor's office. I just doing it myself. I've never done this. Okay. I don't know if I can do oh, Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Just do it. Just freaking do it. Just, just do it. Just do it. Okay. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do it. I've done it. I'm going to do it. God, I wish this ear was still numb. It's not that numb. Huh? Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh. I didn't feel like anything. I'm annoyed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am so annoyed. This is such a tiny needle, but the idea made me sweat. That made me sweat. The idea. The idea of all of that was so scary to me. It's a very tiny needle. It's not like a flu needle. It really wasn't that bad. Wow. That almost sent me into a tailspin. Where's the hole? Oh, I can't even see it. I was gonna wipe it up. Where is it? Hey! <laughs> I don't know where it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, I could do this. I told you I could do this. I told you. <laughs> hey, Mohaji. You know the nausea where your mouth begins to water and you're about to throw up? It's not that intense. It's just subtle. And I know that it's nausea because I'm like, what is that? So I have gotten that once or twice. The next day after my first dose, which was last week, I'm doing Sundays now because Sundays are easier for me versus Monday. And you can change the day, negative or plus one. So I did it last Monday and I'm moving now to Sundays. The next morning, my stomach, my abdomen felt swollen. Not abnormally but more than usual. It just felt weird. And I was like, what the hell? I mean, I am still re in recovery, so I swell regardless, but it just felt odd. I, I could feel a difference and that just is what it is. It has been feeling a little bit tighter than usual. I mean, I can't, I don't know what it would feel like if I didn't have a tummy tuck, you know, I, so I can't compare that, but that is what I've noticed. And then the mild nausea, like even before I came and turned the camera on, I felt something in my mouth. It wasn't the full blown, I'm gonna vomit. It was just a subtle part of it. And then the other day I felt weird too. Just like, like weird in my stomach. So that's what I've been feeling. Other than that, I've been fine, I've been cool. So this is dose number two, week two. And what is it? So I'm doing 10.5. And how many weeks is this? I don't know. I don't know how many weeks this is. I think it's still it finishes. I have no idea. Okay. I'm using this Quartz container to put my sharps inside of. My hands are dry. I recently washed them, but I'll do it again. There's my container. My syringes are here. And the medicine stays in the fridge, so that's where it was this whole time. And thankfully, we learned from last time that it's not that painful. That was, that was a little scary. And it's me washing my hands with Baccarat 540 for me. <laughs> My hands smell good. I'm giving luxury injections, okay? All right, freshly washed hands, and I'm gonna do my abdomen again. I'm told it's just more powerful that way. Okay, so she said switch sides. All right, this is still swelling from surgery, swelling from surgery, and you know, the mark for my pants. So here's the vial, here's the syringe. We pulled this, we stuck it in the middle. It's a rubber thing. We tipped it over. We, look at me walking myself through this again. We got, oh my God, 10 and a half. What? 
Wait, I take, oh yeah, I take this off. Okay, and do you see it? Okay, all right, it's filling up 10. Why is it dripping? Okay, dang it, but there's air. Wait, I did this wrong. Okay, I'm supposed to pull it back to 10 and a half and then put it in, push the air out, and then get the fluid. Wait, 10 and a half, it's not 15. So 10 and a half, I gotta put some back, oh, shoot, no. Oh, a little bit of a bubble, oh. You flick it like you're in a, a clinic, oh my gosh. I don't feel like I'm doing this all over again. Okay, get the air out. Imagine injecting air into my skin. Okay. Is it out? Girl, clean. I have to say all this out loud or else, what? Okay, so this area right here will do this area-ish. Let the air dry. This is a little intense. <laughs> have I lost weight? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Can you tell? We squeeze and we... Oh. Okay. This wasn't that painful, right? <sighs> Yo, the idea of poking myself is just, oh my gosh. Am I ever going to get used to this? I don't know. Ooh, that hurt me. Oh my God, that hurt. Oh my God, that hurt so badly. That hurt so badly i'm even bleeding just a teeny bit there's a teeny ounce of moja blood okay wow that side hurt this side is more numb yes this side has less sensation this sensation but less sensation than this side oh whenever i come to this side i gotta be ready this side wasn't as bad this side hurts, wow. So for those of you who have not had surgery and you are doing this, be ready. There's a pinch and it's, it's not the end of the world, but it's a pinch nonetheless. And I'm still wearing this until one year post-op so that my belly button can be a circle, which you might think is hideous, I don't care. Because otherwise it will literally squish like this. And do I want that? I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, do I want that? Not really. So yeah, and I don't feel this. It doesn't feel like anything. My stomach is still numb in a lot of areas. Wow, that was, that was spicy. Okay, so here it is. And then I'm putting it into the box container. And then this goes back in the refrigerator. I don't know why, but it has to, remain in the refrigerator i'm talking oh, like i'm giving a lecture but I, as i'm talking i'm processing as well and when i slow down and speak it just makes more sense to me that is week two that that sting was more than i expected so i feel a little bit winded from that i won't be i won't lie i feel a little bit like i need to go sit down I'll put on my matching 540 lotion and go about my day and I'll see you next week. All right, it's week three, let's do today's injection. I will say as a report, I don't know if I've lost weight or not. I don't weigh myself. I feel like I'm a little bit smaller, but I can't tell with any certainty. Just, just a guess, but not with certainty. As you know from last week, I used this Clorox container for my sharps. I will say though, I be feeling weird. I don't know, even today, yesterday, I don't know if I'm getting sick or what, but I have this weird feeling like, I don't, I don't know, headaches. I'm not sure if that is a side effect, probably is. Stomach aches, almost like period cramps, but now I'm not even sure because I'm like, is it ovulation cramps? Like, I just don't know. It's hard to say specifically what exactly I'm feeling because of this, but I know for a fact, I be feeling some weird feelings, just like something different going on in my body. Nothing to make me feel like I should never do this again, but definitely something worth noting. Doesn't make the whole experience terrible, but it's just like, yo, what is that feeling? It's just weird. I'm glad though, this time I'm on this side, which is the more numb side of my stomach because on this side last week, that was freaking painful. Okay, my alcohol swab. 
we're wiping this area right here. I don't need all this space, but I can't recall what I did it last time. This is a spot that shouldn't hurt me as much. Praise God. Oh, Lord. Hence that my eating has changed. I just eat like normal. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be having less of an appetite or what, but I don't report anything like that. All right, now I remember from last time I was supposed to pull back to 10 and a half and then put it in and then flip it over. Wait, <laughs> push the air in then flip it over and then withdraw the 10 and a half. There we go. There we go. Is it 10 and a half? It is. Okay. That little air bubble, we're gonna flick that out. That's an office. We've been, we've, ooh, ooh. we've been through this. I don't know stuff is put doctor's office. Oh, I don't really. Am I giving it more bubbles? What in the world? Okay. This is the part that should not hurt me as much. Man, the idea of doing this is so hard. My heart goes out to those who have to do this. Is it, do people do this for IVF? I don't know. God almighty, I just can't imagine it. Oh, it's just, it's just, okay, I should be used to this by now, week three, but I'm not. Okay, this is the area. Uh, I don't have much fat on my stomach, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I, I think I have lost weight. And, yo, look at my face. I have lost weight, but is it this? Okay, I'm distracted. I'm just nervous, that's why. Okay, I can't really see because I bunched up my top. Oh, I hate this, I hate this, okay. I love the results, I just hate the pinch. Doing it on, my, on myself is, is hard. Okay, I can do this. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do this, this is for a good result. Here I am, I'm doing this. I'm gonna do this. Jesus, I'm God, I'm gonna do this. Yo, oh my God, this is not, Wow, this is terrible. Okay. Oh man, this is this is hard. Okay, God. <sighs> okay. Okay. That wasn't as bad. Yeah, this is the part that is still numb. Yeah, see, I forgot how that would feel. That's the part that's still numb. That felt almost like nothing. Ooh, I got a little bit of, what is this? What is that? Is that some of the stuff? I, ha I it's, it's been two weeks since I've injected on this side. So although terrifying, that felt like barely anything, but I couldn't remember. Oh, it dried up, no. I couldn't remember what it felt like. There's a little bump there. It's just the, the medicine, I, obviously, the liquid. Oh, okay. I just forgot how that would feel. Oh my gosh. Man, yo, giving myself an injection is is dizzying. The way that I was so worked up, it made me dizzy. Wow. But yeah, that is one thing I will say is there's just been this odd feeling, just like stomach aches every now and then, but not the kind of stomach ache you would get with, with eating something bad. Maybe stomach cramps, but then again, I'm like, was that ovulation? You feel me? Because I don't get a period, I have the IUD. So I always have to be like, why am I cramping? Maybe I'm ovulating. But other than that, I have been having just weird feelings. Just weird. So that's that so far. I'm on week three. My face looks slim. Yeah, we're going to keep on seeing. So week three, we're out. We're now on week four, and I just finished the workout. I'm about to shower, but let me do my injection. Today is Monday. It's not the Sunday, which is when I normally do my, you can see my stomach. It's not the Sunday, which is normally when I do my injection. But the good thing is you do have a leeway of plus or minus a day. I do feel like I've lost weight. I can tell in my face, not so much my body, but I can just tell in my face. The nausea feeling is still a thing. It's still a thing. It just, oh, it feels so weird. It just feels, it just feels so unusual. All right, let's open this up. This is the week where I go over to this side, which is not numb like this side is. Oh. Obviously, for those of you who have not had a surgical procedure, you're gonna have to deal with the freaking pain of the pinch. It's not the end of the world, but it's just agonizing. It's just so, oh. The doing it myself is what gets me. It's that I'm doing it myself. If I just sit here and let someone else do it, it's just like, and then you're done. But because I know 
that I'm about to pinch myself and I know that it freaking hurts. That's what kills me. All right. And this looks like it's almost done. I don't know how many more I have in these. I know that I pay per month. So I suppose whenever this finishes is when I'll contact them. I, I don't know. Okay. This needs to be 10.5. Oh yeah, this comes off. Look at me, forgetting already. The orange thing comes off. Ten and a half, you get the air, then you put it in, and this stays in the fridge. I got it out of the fridge. Wait, no. I push the air in, then I tip it over. Then I, look, I gotta walk myself through it every week. Then I get the 10.5. Okay, got the 10.5. There is an air bubble in here i have more i can maybe go two three more weeks i don't know i thought it was i don't know whatever <sighs> okay all right we cleaned this area this is the numb area this is the non-numb area Ugh. so i started off here so it was one week two week three and here we are week four okay good god almighty <sighs> Ooh, bent when i stuck it in the what you call it it got bent God, this thing hurts. Wait, it's still bent. <laughs> Not me. Oh. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That must be an area where it's a little numb. <laughs> that specific area that I just used wasn't so bad. <laughs> I need to find that area in two weeks. <laughs> because what? I guess down here. Is it so bad? Where did I put it last time? I must have went over here last time. What the hell? That didn't hurt me this time. What does that mean? <laughs> Yo, the way I be, uh, the way I be so, uh. Now let's do our due diligence here, putting it together. My sharps container is this Clorox box. Put this back inside and then this fluid goes in the fridge. I am, I'm actually dizzy at how painless that was. Help me remember next time for two weeks from now. Where was I? Right here? Because when I touch myself, the sensation in my stomach is still so strange because parts of it are numb. Oh, anyway, I'm so glad that that was, that was easy. Wow. Okay. And let me see how many syringes I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I wonder how much longer this will last me. Well, we are gonna find out. Wait a minute. Am I doing this wrong? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, hold on. I'm not doing this right. Oh my God, where did I go wrong? Oh my goodness. I was doing 10 and a half and I'm supposed to do... <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why am I so delusional? Okay, this is tacky, but these are my own syringes. I'm supposed to be doing 25 units every seven days. So this should be, this should be finished almost. I wasn't doing it right. Oh my God. Where did I get 10 and a half? Oh my gosh, I was doing this wrong. It says... Inject 25 units every seven days. And I've been doing 10 and a half. Where did I get that from? No wonder why I have so much left. Oh crap. Okay, wow. Oh my God, okay, wow, wow, okay. So I'm actually going slower at this thing than I was supposed to be. Damn, so now I gotta take another syringe and inject 14 and a half. Okay, well, make sure you're reading it correctly and doing this correctly. Oh my gosh. Well, good thing I have alcohol from, cause I bought a whole bunch of these to put into my fire pit in the kitchen. So I have alcohol and I'm gonna put it on a cotton pad and then clean the area again and do this again. Wow. So I, maybe I should have, I should have been having way more results by now, but I, wasn't doing the correct amount. I'm so annoyed. Okay, so I'm missing. Dang, I gotta find that. I gotta find that spot again. This is 15 and this is 20. Cause I was doing 15 units basically. Now I'm confusing myself. I'm so annoyed. I was doing 10 and a half, but that's not 10 and a half. I was doing 15, excuse me. I stand corrected. Wow. I was putting it right here, which is 15. 
and I'm supposed to be doing 25. So what I need is, what I need is 10 more. I'm confusing myself. Oh my goodness gracious. What I need is 10 more. Okay, so I put it to 10, push the air in. So this thing should have been finished. Yeah, this should have been finished if I was doing it correctly. Crap. All right, so here's the 10. Get the bubbles out. Dang it, now where was that? I was, I grabbed this, I can barely grab. That's crazy. I can barely grab the fat. I used to be able to grab more before. Where was it? Dang, was it here? Okay, that was the right area because I barely felt that. 25, it's right here on my prescription, but I must have read 15 on the paper the first time and I just stuck with that. And I also think what confused me is right here. This says t one point, what? One slash 0.5. So that just, oh, that had to be what confused me. Now I'm annoyed. We still move forward. I'm just annoyed because perhaps I was supposed to be much further along right now. I mean, the world is not coming to an end. So, but yeah, I am disappointed because I, I wasn't paying enough attention. Now I have the 25 cc's in me and we gonna CC if this makes a difference because now I have more in me. I should have been done by now. Based on what's left over in that bottle, that should have been done. And I should have been ask, getting a refill because you refill it each month. And then the amount that I'm using each month increases based on what I want to lose. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I'll see you next week.